This is France's new 3 billion euro gigafactory ACC in the northernmost region of Eau de France. A joint project by Dutch company Stellantis, Germany's Mercedes and France's Total Energy that someday will supply batteries for up to 500,000 electric vehicles per year. On ne dépendait que des batteries venues d'Asie. Right now we are getting all our batteries from Asia, from China, South Korea and Japan. But we want to create our own industry to design, produce and sell batteries that are 100% made in France. The pharmaceutical, software and telecommunication sector are also betting on France, with a total of 1,300 foreign direct investments last year. France has highly qualified engineers and technicians and a real industrial culture. And the country has an enormous advantage compared to neighboring countries such as Germany, cheap nuclear electricity. France plans to maintain its high nuclear electricity share currently at around 70%. The French government has been cutting corporate taxes and red tape, hoping to lure entrepreneurs. Ensemble, ça a correspondu à peu près à Foreign direct investments in 2022 created 58,000 jobs. The economy expanded by 2.6% last year and will continue to grow this year, whereas countries such as Germany entered into recession. This economist agrees a lot of foreign direct investment is good news, but it's hardly the reason behind France's strong economic results. Unemployment has gone down because our population is aging and there are less people available for work. And businesses have been receiving subsidies to soften the economic impact of the COVID-19 epidemic and the Ukraine war. That's why they could invest that money, which led to growth. In this region, the European project is seen as a boon. The traditional car industry employs more than 50,000 people here. But because the EU has banned the sale of petrol and diesel cars beginning in 2035, many of them will have to find new jobs. We want to quickly be fully operational here and our factory will be part of a whole battery ecosystem in this valley. At least three other battery gigafactories are planned in the vicinity in the near future. These companies and their supply chain could add up to 10,000 jobs in what France is already calling its Battery Valley.